This is Todd Medina, your authority in MMA and all things concerned. What drill we're going over today is a, it's a kind of a, a three in one. So we have a sensitivity drill, a speed drill, and an accuracy drill. Okay, so those are the three. A speed drill, sensitivity drill, and accuracy drill. So we're gonna start it off first before I'm gonna play rock. Okay, we're going to jab and parry at the same time. So for example, this is how we're gonna build up to this thing. It's gonna be a three-step process. So not only am I gonna jab, but Rock's gonna jab at the same time. We're gonna parry or catch at the same time. So boom, that's all it is. Okay. So my left to his right, his left to my right, or my back, my front to his back and his front to my back. So here's what's gonna happen. As he's jabbing, all I'm gonna do is catch it. That's all I'm doing. No different, boom. If you want, you can parry it, either or. The catch or the parry will work, okay? So once again, we're both jabbing and we're both catching at the same time, we're parrying, okay? Boom, just like so. Now, when you do this, when you make sure you're doing that drill, straight out, straight back. That's essentially what it looks like. Straight out, straight back. Boom, boom. So the, when, when my hand touches his hand, his hand's gotta touch my hand, same thing. Boom, and when you're done with it, bring it back home. Where the punch starts is where it begins, is where it ends. Same thing, where it begins is where it ends. So now we're gonna to add to that. So we're gonna throw a, a jab and then a cross, okay? And then his, and my jab and my cross are gonna hit, hit his same target, the back hand, okay? So Rock's gonna throw, we're both gonna do it, but I'll catch off both hands. So we go jab and then he's gonna throw a cross, bang. So I caught two punches with, with the same hand. Jab, cross, good. Jab, cross, once again. Okay, once again, jab and then a cross. Jab and cross. So, I'm gonna turn this angle here. Okay, so check this out. So he's gonna crack me with the jab, boom, and then across. Bang. Once again, jab and then across. Now from this angle, boom. Jab and across. Now, if you notice, both of us are keeping our hands up in, in true boxing stance, okay? After you get done with one hand, you can't drop it and wait for the next thing you gotta do. So, you jab, both hands are always up. One more time. So, this is the stage two of it, okay? So we have a jab and then a cross. So for example, he would go once, now I'm gonna throw. So boom, boom. Oh shit, sorry, you're right. Okay, so you're just gonna go back and forth. Your rhythm and your timing um, and your, your coordination are big on this one. It'll take you a second. That's why there's three steps to it because it takes a second to, to get up to it and, and go. So now we're gonna add a jab, a cross, and a lead hook. Okay, jab, cross, lead hook. I'll let rock throw and I'll deep end. Okay, so we have a jab, a cross, and then a lead hook. Boom, just like so, which is perfect. We have a jab, a cross, and a lead hook. One more time. A jab, a cross, and a lead hook. Now, if you notice, through that whole process, both of our hands were up the whole time. As soon as he got done punching, it was back on the phone. When I got done defending or parrying or catching, my hands were back up on the phone. Now your net hands never down, okay? So that's why it's slow work up to this thing, okay? One more time. We have a jab, a cross, and a lead hook. So I'm gonna parry, parry, cover, okay? All with the same hand. We have a jab, a cross, and a lead hook. Now if you notice, when he threw that lead hook, he made the angle, okay? So now our job's getting closer to being done. All we're doing is setting up and, and setting traps, setting traps, and then soon enough, we're gonna drop the, drop the hammer, and that's what we're gonna do now. So we have a, a jab, a cross, a lead hook, and then we're gonna bomb with the, the cross. One more time. A jab, a cross, a lead hook. Now, on that lead hook, he's gonna switch angles, okay? When he, when he makes that angle, now the trap's set, and he's, let, he's gonna let it go. Boom, and then bang, he put that big old bear trap out. I stepped in it, now he's gonna let me have it. Okay, so here's the four punches. Can I slip it down? Okay. Yeah, please. So we have a jab, a cross, a lead hook, and then a cross. Boom. One more time so you can see that more better. We have a jab, a cross, a lead hook, and a cross. Now if you notice, when he threw that lead hook, he changed the angle. I'm still fighting this way, and now he changed the angle and he's got me. So let's do that one more time. Perfect. So we have a jab, ah shit, shoot. jab, a cross, a lead hook, and boom. Now. One thing we, we were doing earlier, we didn't, I didn't specify on this one. When he throws, when you throw that lead hook, it's gonna be like an anchor hook, okay? Or he's gonna, an anchor hook. What he's gonna do is when he throws it, he's gonna trap my wrist down to my body, or he's gonna cup it down. He's never gonna lose contact to that. 
So when he makes that angle, he's gonna trap my lead, my back hand down. It's gonna leave the whole side of my, my face and my torso exposed. So he can crack me to the base or the body, whatever he decides to do, depending on the height and how the fighter's built and all that kind of stuff. So once again, we have a jab, a cross, a lead hook. On that lead hook, he's gonna switch angles. He's gonna trap my rear hand down and he's gonna fire that cross. And primarily, it's gonna to be to my dome. Okay, so one more time, here we go. So we have a jab, a cross, a lead hook. When he did that, he trapped my hand down and he's gonna let that cross down. Now we're gonna go a little bit more full speed. Jab, cross, lead hook, boom. So that's how things working out. So you have a speed drill, a sensitivity drill, and an accuracy drill, okay? All those things put together. So once again, work into it slow. You go just from your jab to jab, and then jab cross, and then jab cross hook, lead hook, and then jab cross lead hook, straight, uh, straight cross, rear cross. It's only cross there is, a cross is a rear cross. So if you have any questions, any comments, get back to us. And we'll go that one. So you don't want to, the reason for this drill is, if I'm standing in front of you, if you're standing in front of me, although you're a target, but your hands are up and your elbows are in tight and all this, I have to set something up. I can't just walk straight in and start blasting and expect to, to hit you or you know connect anything. So I need to open up doors, set traps, do different things, feints, fakes, all that kind of stuff. So this is a good drill to get you. So I don't want to be center line with you. I never want to be center line. I just want to be off line a little bit so I can set things up or get you to move so it's off center line so I can get things to move. So that's the thing. If you didn't know, now you know. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Thanks to my boy, Big Rock. Boom.